What's up guys, Cord Hoarder here, and I'm doing a little review video on the Dr. Odic MT6 Waterproof Pinpointer. Does it work? Is it really waterproof? And who the heck is Dr. Odic? Find out in a second, you might just want to get yourself one. All right guys, the Dr. Odic MT6 Waterproof Pinpointer. You can see mine's all dirty already. I've used this for a full 12 hour hunt, so I got some experience with it. This video is more of let's hear it, let's turn it on, let's read what the box says sort of a thing. You can see it in action in a few days, but like I said, I got a little bit of experience. So I'm gonna show you what it can do, I'm gonna show you what it claims, and I'll give you my honest review at the end. All right, so here's the box that comes in. Plain brown box, it's got some writing, it's got some graphics, some pictures, I hope that's not my address. Here's what some of the claims are. IP68 waterproof up to 10 meters. That's 30 feet. If that really works, that's incredible. Target ID, four levels, LED and vibration, 360 degree detection up to four centimeters, and a power supply, one nine volt battery, which is included. All right, so what's in the box? What's it come with? What, what does the Dr. Odic pinpointer come with? Well, it comes with the pinpointer, of course, which is a given. It comes with this nice little lanyard you can put on your wrist so you don't lose it. It comes with a little rubber tip at the top so when you're shoving it in the ground, it doesn't get holes and cracks and stuff in it. it comes with a nice little belt holster. Velcros to your belt, snaps in, which is kind of cool. Also comes with a nine volt battery. It's already in the butt. It's a cheapy Chinese nine volt battery, but you know what, it works, the thing did turn on. So let's see it in action. Let's see if it really works. Pretty easy to do, on button right there. Click it once and it's on. Now you notice you didn't hear anything. Dr. Odic, it has no sound. What Dr. Odic does have, when you turn it on, it has a little flashlight right there, not super bright, but you know, it does flash. Uh, how this works is vibration and light only. If you see this little indicator right here, as something gets on it, you'll get different colors on it. How it works is as it gets closer, you're gonna get four different colors. The first one is red, right about there, about three inches red. Then green at about maybe, I don't know, two, two and a half inches. Then blue at about two inches. And then eventually it goes to white. You can also, if you can hear the vibration from a distance until you get in, it vibrates a little faster as it gets in. That's how it works, no sound. All right, now Dr. Odic also claims that this is waterproof up to 30 feet, 10 meters deep. That's a heck of a good claim for the price of this thing. Now, when I was detecting, I didn't jump into a 30 foot lake and I probably never will. So let's go over to my pool. We're gonna actually chuck this sucker in the pool and we're gonna see if it lives up to the claim. All right, so Dr. Odic claims it's submergible up to 30 feet. That's a heck of a claim. Now my pool is only about maybe six or seven feet deep, but uh, hey, if you can't do it in that, you don't do it. Now I am rooting for you, Dr. O. Let's turn you on. All right, he's on. Here we go, you ready? Good luck. All right, Odic is in and son of a gun, Odic floats. Son of a gun, can you believe that? All right, uh, let me get my skimmer. I'm gonna sink him to the bottom. All right, there he is. Let's see. Let's get him to the bottom. All right, I might not be able to get him all the way to the bottom, but he's down there. He's probably down there about, I don't know, four feet. This is the shallow end. All right, up he comes, and let's fish it out. Oh, son of a gun, I can feel it vibrating. I can feel it vibrating, the light's still on. Hey, Dr. Rodick, that's pretty impressive. Let's open up that battery compartment. If there's water in there, you're in big trouble. All right, I need two hands for this. All right, there's Dr. Rodick. He's still on, he's still vibrating. Let's turn him off. Three seconds, hold the power button down. Dr. Rodick's off. Let's unscrew the battery cap. And it's dry. It's dry. The threads are dry. There's a little bit from my hand just unscrewing it, but now it's dry. <laughs> hey, good job there, Odic. Pretty impressive. Can it still work? Yeah, it still turns on. There's my ring. Pretty impressive. All right, so you saw it. Dr. Odic really is submersible, so that's great. So I'm gonna give you the good and the bad, my honest opinion. I'm gonna start with the good, because I like to try to find the positives and things. The first good is the price. It's 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a pinpointer that actually works is a pretty good deal. It's waterproof, at least up to six feet, maybe deeper. Good luck trying to find a waterproof pinpointer that works for 50 bucks. The high-end ones, 125, 150, 190 bucks. Now, they act, they're a little bit better, but you know what? 
this one does work. It does what it says it's going to do. So that's a great price point. Another thing I like about it are all the little things it comes with. The little lanyard's cool. The rubber tip is protective good. The flashlight it has. It came with a battery even though it was a cheapy one. I like the light. Especially if you're underwater detectors, I'm not. I'm going to guess that you're, you can't hear too well. The sound is going to be muffled under the water. So to be able to see that light uh, is a good little feature there. So those are the goods. All right, so that means there's going to be some bads. And I don't want to kill the thing, but there's some things about it I did not like. Number one, the battery. It comes with a cheap battery. Now I get it. You can buy a new 9-volt battery for a couple of dollars. It was really cheap. It died at the end of the hunt. It didn't even last 12 hours, so the battery is no good. And the battery connector is really cheap. So be careful when you place the battery. It's an old school 80s, just little wire, and you gotta like kind of snap it on. Be careful you don't break it. I didn't like the battery. So number two, it's got no sound. Now, that's not the worst thing in the world, I don't think, for the price. For the price, you gotta cut some corners out. No sound, I was able to live with it. The vibration was decent enough. I liked how the indicator light got a little brighter. So. I don't mind the sound. If you're going to try to save me a hundred bucks, you got to cut corners somewhere. And sound, believe it or not, is probably the best thing to get rid of. And the third thing I didn't like about it, and this was the big one for me. I got it on right now. Here's my target. As you can see, the white light is the closest light. I'm getting it right there at about an inch and a half. I'm getting the same light when I'm touching it. If you can hear the vibration, this is the fast vibration. I get the same sound an inch and a half away. I did not like that. The darn thing is called a pinpointer, and it doesn't pinpoint. Pinpoint, it's the point of a pin. It doesn't pinpoint. It's a vicinity pointer is what it is. It gets you in the vicinity, but you gotta get in there, you gotta get your hands dirty, you gotta break open clumps. I don't like that about it. It doesn't pinpoint. I thought maybe I got a bad one here. They sent me two of them. It was the same thing with the other one. You can only get so close, and then you think you're touching it. A good example of it, I was hunting with a partner that you'll see in a, in a few days on when the video comes out. She thought she had something in the sidewall. It was making the super fast beep. She thought she was right on it. She put the knife in behind it and plucked it out. It actually was an inch and a half in and she wound up scratching the thing. Ugh, that stinks. If you're gonna say you're a pin pointer, you gotta point to a pin. So it's a vicinity pointer. But all in all, not too shabby, especially considering what you're paying for it. I would probably give it two and a half out of five stars, which is a completely made up number I just did. Would I hunt with it on my everyday hunts? No, no I wouldn't. But is it good for beginners? Absolutely. Is it good for a casual detectorist? Probably. Is it good for a kid starting off? 100%. It worked and you save a boatload of money. So I guess you know, you get what you pay for, you pay for a little less, you get a little less, but it does work. It detects metal. It does almost pinpoint at vicinity points. Again, Dr. Odick is $50 on Amazon. I got a discount code, it's in the description. Check it out, you save yourself a little bit more money. I think you'll get it for like 10% off or something like that. It's good for a month. And tune in in two days, you'll see a full length video where I put this thing to the test, get him in the dirt, get him in the rock, stick him under the creek even, and uh, he's still powered through. So thanks for watching everybody. Happy hunting, I'll see you in a few days. Later.